Hey guys, Flu Yoshi here, and today I'm gonna be going over the Mii Swordsman. So let's do this. The Mii Swordsman is a very underused character compared to uh, the Brawler and a lot of others. Um, so not many people use him. In fact, I haven't seen one person use him on a competitive level, which is pretty sad because I could. Um, I think he is at least mid tier. So, oh uh, yeah. Very underused. But anyways, so first I'm going to be going over his moveset, and then I'm going to be going over his customs, and then his combos. So let's start with his moveset. So his moveset, uh, well, first thing it to cover is our jab. His jab is a simple three-hit strike with his sword. Um, and it's okay on its own, but if you only use the first two, you can go into a down tilt. If I can show you. That's not right. That's not right either. There we go. And you can go into full ale. And can and even continue the string. So yeah, that is his uh that's his jab. Now for his side tilt, this goes slightly farther than his jab and does slightly more, just like pretty much every single up tilt, or side tilt, sorry. But, yeah. So, it's okay, I just don't find myself using it that much. And then for his down tilt, it's very fast in combos into things. So I'd say this is his best tilt, um, but yeah. Very, very good. And then we have his up tilt. His up tilt is only good at uh, lower percents, because after that, it stops comboing well. So, yeah. Like, I'd compare it to Pikachu's, because Pikachu's uh, is very good at comboing at lower percents, but after that, it just does not work. So, and then next we have his, um, his, uh, his dash attack. His dash attack is one of the better dash attacks in the game because he can combo from it. If I can actually hit it. There we go. Um, so, it's a pretty good dash attack. But yeah, so now we have his smashes. So side smash is obviously his strongest smash. Goes the farthest. Um, but yeah, it's it's basically your typical side smash. Now for your up smash, uh, this can be used as an anti aerial by finding his up air more. Uh, his his up air battle at this job. So I don't find myself using it that much. <laughs> and then his down smash, his down smash uh, covers a lot of space, you can cover ledge options and stuff, so just your typical uh, down smash, like the Mii's are supposed to be typical, so it's a strength and a weakness. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so now for his aerial moves. Uh, the Swordsman is very, very good in the ale. Uh, so... Now his neutral ale. This... Is one of the two bad aerial moves. Uh, that he has. Basically, you cannot combo from it at all. That's why it's so bad. The good thing about it, though, is that it covers a lot of space. So that's why it's good. But really it's not... You don't want to use it that much. Anyways. Uh, next we have his forward ale. His forward ale is basically one of his better aerials. Uh, Cause as I said he can combo from it. And it also kills off the stage. 
and then his up ale. Uh, this one is interesting because it has a special sweet spot that if you hit, kills. Uh, let's see if I can get it, you. Ah, oh, that's not right. There we go. So yeah, it kills. Which is very weird for an up ale. Now for his back ale. Uh, you're going to be using your back ale, forward ale, and neutral ale a lot in your neutral. Along with some moves on the ground. Um, along with, you know, your projectiles. Which is really weird because uh, most swordsmen don't have projectiles. So I'd compare the new swordsmen much more to like Link and Toon Link. Like a combination of the two. Because he doesn't... He doesn't necessarily need his projectiles, but he can use them f to a very good degree, so he's like a mixture of them. Um, uh, where was I at? Oh yeah, back ale. So you're going to be using this in your neutral a lot because, um, you don't, no one's going to want to come over to you. When you're using your back air. Why do I keep on doing that? <laughs> but yeah, it's back air, very, very good. Pretty sure it also kills. There you go. Got revenge right there. Down air, this is his sec the second one that you don't want to use. The reason has so much and lag. You can like double jump and use it, and it still will take a lot of time to put up your shield watch. So, yeah. Don't use that move. The only time I ever find myself using this move is off the stage to uh, give someone, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> Anyways, so now we have his grab. So his grab is pretty decent. Uh, his pummel is one of the slowest in the game, however. So pummel isn't that good, but um, aside from the pummel, his throws are pretty okay. I mean, forward throw you can go forward and back throw you can go into your projectiles. Tad pressure. Uh, up throw is going to be your combo throw. Yes, your up throw is going to be your combo throw, not your down throw. Your down throw can combo, but not as great as your up throw. So generally, all his throws are pretty uh, good. Okay. So now for his custom moves. Uh, he has pretty good custom moves, but he's a me, so obviously he's going to have good custom moves. <laughs> but yeah, so his first custom set is, I think, his worst overall. <laughs> but it's it's not absolutely terrible either. So, um, his first one is a gut thing that shoots wind. Um, I, the reason I do not use this one is his third, I believe it is, or a second, uh, is Shuriken of Light, which basically does its job better. The only reason I ever find myself using this instead of the other one would be just to gimp people, but that's it. But, yeah. Uh, for side special, you have Airborne Assault, I think it's called. Yeah. And it can kill if you charge it. it. It's also a very good option to get back onto the ledge. Because it's very far once it's charged. And no one's going to want to be in your path. So... Yeah, so it's pretty good. Um, I'd either use this or the third one, honestly, but... 
yeah. I don't really... It's okay. Now for his up... For his up special. This one is... Really iffy. <laughs> the reason that's iffy is it depends on what character you're going against, okay? So... Uh, basically, it has terrible horizontal recovery, but... Um, very, very good uh, vertical recovery. You saw right there. So yeah, goes nowhere for horizontally, super far uh, vertically. So you'd want to use this against a character that cannot go that far down. An example, Little Mac. <laughs> it doesn't even have to be Little Mac. It could be a character like Diddy Kong, where he doesn't necessarily want to be under the stage. Um, yeah, it can also Meteor, as you saw it there. So, that's kind of awesome. But you don't find yourself getting the chance to do that very often. <laughs> Now for his down special, this is counter. Uh, it's either this or the second one. Uh, this, everyone knows what a counter does. It counters a move and then attacks back. It's a pretty good counter, but um, yeah, not much to say because pretty much every sword fighter in the world has a counter for some reason. Anyways, now we are going to his second options, which I think are the better ones. Oh wait, no, that's his thorn. Uh, let's see. Okay, so for his second neutral special, uh, this is Shuriken of Light Dice. I was talking about this. That it basically is the better version of the gust thing. It just doesn't make the gust. Basically, it gets faster as it goes, and it does good damage. And it goes straight. So, if you pair this with your shotgun, uh, you can do some pretty interesting mix-ups. Okay. Now, for a second side special, this is Slash Launcher. Um, it's basically like Ike's quick draw. It's not absolutely pullable, but I wouldn't use it. But yeah, that's just me. <laughs> now, for his up special, we have this one. I don't forgot what it's called. But it goes really, really far in a direction. Basically, it's like foxes up special, basically. But it's better. It snaps to a ledge much easier. So, yeah. It's one of his battle up specials, but... Oh, uh, yeah. All of his up specials aren't absolutely horrible. But, yeah. Now for his down special, we have this rainbow thingy, which can turn them around just like Mario's cape, and it also deflects projectiles. So basically, it's Mario's cape. That's it. Not much to say. Now for his third, these are his best. In honesty. With, uh, with the exception of one move, which is his new just special, it's pretty much the best. So let's go do this. Okay, so for his third neutral special, you have Glowing Blade, which is a shield pistol without piercing the shield, I guess. It's a very, very strong move that you can charge up. And it for a uh, third side special, this is what I think his best one is. It's his shotgun, which he can throw 
Uh, it has two modes, which is a slow mode that is that can hit them multiple times. And if you hit them with that, you can go into a grab. Uh, that's not what I want. Sometimes you can, but yeah, and then you can go it all the way, which you can use to edge guard, and it goes in like four different ways. So yeah, that is his side special. And then for his up special, we have Hero's Spin, which is basically Link's up special. You can charge it to kill on the ground, but in the ale, it's basically a very, very, very good uh, recovery mo move. Um, I think, in my opinion, Hero Spin is better than his second one, but they're very, very close, so use whichever one you think suits you. Now, for his final down special, you have Power Thrust. Which is a tech chaser. Which basically means if they are going to tech, you can stop them as it chases them. It also moves across the stage very fast. If you use it in the air, it's, it's pretty bad actually. But, yeah. Not bad, I feel like the air. Because it has a lot of end lag. But, anyways. So that was his custom moves. Now we are finally on his combos. Okay. So, at 0%, uh, he has a couple stuff. He has his up throw. Uh, that's not his up throw, that's his down throw. You can up throw into up tilt into side smash or you can go let's see that <laughs> which doesn't do as much but it's much more uh, guaranteed I feel like I'm not doing it right there we go. But yeah, so that's at zero. Oh, he has another one. <laughs> okay, so he can grab. Then his forward and back throw can either go into um, his shock bomb or his shuriken of light, which I kind of already covered, but it's a good reminder. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. In fact, I hope you learned a lot of things from this video. But yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.